Hannah, tonight is online education cool. Is it as cool as flying pizzas? Talking about that tonight as well, flying pizzas, the drone thing, and also, are you prepared for the price of your house to come down for the greater good? What house? Yeah, there's, there's that too, isn't there? Yeah, All right, there okay, I'm Wallace Chapman. And I'm Hayley Holt. Welcome to Pub Politics. As it happens, it's called Backbenchers. Let's rock and roll. Yeah, you. to be here, what a crowd tonight. Hey, big round of applause for yourselves. Good to have you here. Hey, it's um, New Zealand's one and only pub on its show. What a full house tonight. A lot of financial advisors in the house tonight, so uh, the MPs will be getting schooled uh, on, on the economy. But look, uh, let's st start with first up with the Labour MP, Megan Woods. Round of applause for Megan Woods. Thank Good you. to have you on, Megan. How are you tonight? I'm very well, and how first are you? Up, I'm very well. All different beers. What sort of beer are you drinking? I'm drinking a Hot Rocker Pilsner. Ah, oh, very, very good. Yes. All right, question one. Yeah. Here we go. There's a new film out about Richie McCaw. It's called Chasing Great. What would a film about Megan Woods be called? Oh, that's easy. I Won't Back Down with a soundtrack by Johnny Cash. Oh, <laughs> oh. I Won't Back Down. <laughs> All right, question two. France is uh, banning the burkini. burkini. Should New Zealand do the same? Well, it's a bit cold. It's still winter, so I think we can put that one on ice for a few more weeks. Okay, so that's a few more weeks. Yeah. May, okay. Oh, it's the spring tomorrow. All right. Okay. Uh, and yeah. finally, just over a year's time, the election. What will be the one big election issue? Do you think? Well, housing is undoubtedly going to be a major issue, and I think we might have a bit of a chat about that tonight, but I can't see housing going away in the next year. Where I come from All in right. Christchurch, whether or not your house is repaired we are will also we be are a big issue. We are talking about that tonight. A uh, big yeah. round of applause for United Future Leader uh, Peter Dunn uh, is on the show too, Peter. <laughs> Same questions as a new film uh, out about you. Richie's was chasing great. What's your film called? Oh, I think it, it could be the man in the middle, but that wasn't a very <laughs> that, that wasn't a very good outcome. So I'll go for Man Alone. Man Alone. <laughs> oh, oh. No, that, that's a, that's a classic New Zealand story, Man Alone. Yes, it is yeah. actually. Yes. Yeah. But, uh, Morgan? John Morgan. John Morgan. Mm. All right. Okay. Mm. Yeah. They don't know. No, they no, know. no. It's a good know. story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Just over a year's time, the election. What will be the one issue? I think it'll be people's you... sense of how they feel their lives are going, their security, their economic security, their personal security, and their sense of well-being. All right. And finally, France has banned the bikini. Should New Zealand do the no, same? No. No. I think that uh, people should have freedom of expression, and you don't tolerate, you don't promote that by telling how people how they should dress. All right. Okay. Straight up. Very good. You've just got 18 more United Future supporters. <laughs> there you go. Good. Yep, good, yeah. Uh, all right, now, a big round of applause for um, New Zealand First Deputy Leader, Ron Mark. Good to have you on the show, Ron. Thanks, Wallace. Good to be here. Your leader is here over there, just uh, here tonight, so best behaviour. <laughs> best behaviour. <laughs> well, <great>. Okay. <laughs> all right. No, 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 no. All right. There's a new film out about Richard McCaw. It's called Chasing Grey. What would a film about Ron Mark be called? Well, you give me. You prompted me before, and I couldn't think of it. I'd probably think of Wild Bunch, or I could well think of Good, Bad, and the Ugly, because you'll get all of that from me. <laughs> Let's go with Good, Bad, and the you'll, Ugly. You'll get all of that from me. All right. Okay. And just over a year's time, the election. What is the one issue? Well, That'll be important I, to New Zealand. Can I say this, Wallace? I'll tell you what it won't be. Yep. It won't be lost luggage. That's right. <laughs> Will it? it won't, we won't have to run a bill through the house to okay. find people's well, baggage. Okay, well, let's ask, let's ask... I think it's going to be a sense of nationhood and people's feeling as to how much control they have of their own nation, both economically, the security and future of their children, their grandchildren around housing. All, right. All of those issues are going to come to play okay. under the headline economy. Okay, and a big uh, a round of applause for National MP, Paul Foster, Paul Foster Bauer. Paul, good to have you on the show. Thanks, Wallace. Good to have you here. All right. Chasing great Richie McCaw, Paul Foster Bell. My favourite movie, The Empire Strikes Back. The Empire... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's very complicated. It's very, very, well, very... Is 
Asus. <laughs> All right, OK. Uh, just over a year's time, the election. What will be the one issue facing New Zealanders in your personal opinion? Look, I think in Wellington and nationwide, people are going to want a strong and growing economy so that they have rising wages, a yes, roof okay. over their head, and good public services. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, that's good. Hey, round of applause for my co-host, Hayley Holt. Hello, Wallace. Well, good to have you here. Hey. How are you? Very good, very good. All right, very, very good. Hey, we've got some really good guests tonight, hey, for including uh, Matt Vickers, uh, uh, Lucretia's Choice, The Story of Love, Death and the Law. That's coming a little later on, about voluntary euthanasia. Very interesting yep. show coming up. Yep. But first, of course, we have to get through the top five where most of the politicians around the world are chasing average. The national government has been accused of playing dirty politics in the past. In an effort to clean up his image, John Key wasn't afraid to get the soap out. Working hard to get my vote, are you? Max, you're so gangster. Oh! Speaking of gangsters, French police are rooting out terrorism wherever it may be. Four heavily armed policemen stormed the beach to disrobe a woman in her highly threatening burkini. I feel safer already. Meanwhile, lurking just below the surface, dissident skin coverers. Success in sports comes from playing a cool hand, and Stephen Adams knows how to be cool. Tell me why ain't nothing but a Someone who doesn't know how to be cool, Wallabies coach Michael Chica. It's just me a card. Chill out, mate. <laughs> what top five wouldn't be complete without a little toilet humour? While someone couldn't hold it in on breakfast. Six syllable. Now, today Christchurch... One guy couldn't get it out, trapped after attempting to rescue his friend's phone in a long drop. Nah, -uh. never would happen. <laughs> You'd be shit out of luck. And one has to wonder what Nick Smith's mouth is full of. Because whatever it is, it's attracting flies. <laughs> I think I got it. You wonder why he doesn't just fly, swat, swat it away. He looks it's quite a, comfortable with it. It's a human condition. It was like Ma a friend that he'd hit around for a while. Michael Checker, though. I've got to feel sorry, Ron, for Michael Checker. Who do you reckon is the New Zealand who, who do you reckon is um, the New Zealand politician's Michael Checker? Oh, mate, I've got a clear clue. <laughs> Not something I spend hours worrying about, Wallace. You know? oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wake up in the morning with that question on hey, my head. Hey, now uh, some. <laughs>